curious to know about your teenage years back when you were 15, 12, yeah? Outside the fact that you were busy practicing. The media, the mainstream media says that you practice with a bear. But here, it's so hard to find bear. Can we replace the bear with sheep or lamb? <laughs> no, uh, never mind. My question is... <laughs> no, no, no. Your English is a little bit different than my English. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm I, sorry about my English. Uh, Can you share with us about your teenage years? With my teenage yeah, your, your teenage years. Like when I was teenager, I was very active at that time. And uh, you know, when you're young, when you're like, for example, like 15, 16, and you're very strong, this is two problems. You're young, yeah, this is two problems. And now, when I'm 36, I look at my age and I like, first of all, you're young, second, you're strong. Because I was strong. Because I was trained by my father all my life. And I know, at that time, I know how to help people. And it was very, very important to protect myself from my life, I protect myself from myself. You know, I know many, a lot of people don't understand what I'm talking about, but my father was doing this. He always told me, do this, do this, don't go there. You need education, you have to be more gym, train, sleep, educate, repeat, sleep. You know, he was, he was controlling myself. And I was very lucky to have like, this father with me all my life who controlled me, who teach me, who coach me, and uh, he was a very big inspiration for me. So, let's talk about your late father. I feel sorry for the passing of your father. Can you share with us the emotional connection between you and your father? How was he like? Not just a father, if I'm mistaken. I heard that he sold his house just to build a training gym for you to practice. Is that true? Yeah, this is Please. true. This is true. When I was young, like, uh, when we was living in our village, that time it was a little bit hard life for our family uh, because we struggled with a lot of things. And most of them, the most hard things was because uh, our family, we don't have money. And that's why my father said, not only house, he sell his, uh, because I remember when I was young, we had a lot of cows, you know, like bulls, cows, he sell everything. We moved to, we moved to capital city, he built gym, and Lara, he, he started trade a lot of guys, but most of the people was his relatives. And now I understand it was very big investment. It was an investment to his relatives and young generations. Now, when we look at this, uh, I understand the most beautiful and uh, smart things if you want to invest in this people. Because uh, a lot of people invest in you know, like making money like this, but my father always invests his energy, his knowledge, his experience to us. Me, my brothers, my friends, all his students, and, uh, and he had uh, more than 30 world champions. He created more than 30 world champions. Uh, I think investing to the people is the best thing. So he made an investment. I mean, if you excuse me, I need to just communicate with the guys, just explain to what he said just now. Jadi investasi terbaik itu teman-teman, menurut beliau adalah tadi, kepada anak-anak, orang tua kepada anak, itu dilakukan ayahnya menjual rumah, itu beli rumah di sebuah kota yang besar berlatih mengajar itu jadi benar-benar serius your father was very determined he was very sure that the kids should be fighters one day he already has something in his mind and the reason why you retired from MMA was out of it because of your mother how's the emotional connection between you and your mother Yeah, like, first of all, when my father, Allah, he passed away, it was the reason why I retired. At that time, I think a lot of people, they forget about this. At that time, you already announced my fight. Announced, they announced my fight, 
I suppose the fighters just engaging in it and more gentle. And my father, I don't know, he passed away. And uh, I was planning to finish, but UFC already announced my fight. And that time I talked with my mother, and, uh, uh, and uh, I promised her it's gonna be my last fight. It's gonna be my last fight, I will finish this. But I have to fight because all world already waiting for this fight, and I already signed contract. I have to, because I have to, I have to finish my contract. I already signed this, and she said, "Okay, if it's gonna be last fight, you can do it." And we make a deal. I promise her, I fight, I finish my fight, and after that, it was a conversation between me and my mother. And if we talk about like uh, connection with my mother, like we call it like uh, our mother is a madrasa, school, you know, because mother always behind the scenes, like, like Muslims, our mothers, sisters, our women stay behind the scenes, but they have very big impact, very big, um, they have big responsibility to uh, give for us uh, good education, good manners, uh, like uh, a lot of things we take from mother. And uh, for, for me, I think like a uh, woman, it's a, uh, in, we talk about all social programs, women take a very big uh, part of uh, to give all kids uh, good education. This is very, very important. I think, uh, and that's why it's very important women have to be educated. When they have kids, they have to give them something. But if women don't know nothing, when she's gonna have kids, how she's gonna grow them? You know, it's very important, uh, like for us, like for all Muslim community, uh, you know, it's like uh, be educated. It's very important because uh, those things, what Allah said to us, it's equal. Equal, like we have to read. It's mean educate. This is most important thing in our life. Even like every day, I try to know something. Yesterday, on the way from Dubai to Indonesia, I was learning about Indonesia. Because I'm coming here, I'm gonna meet with a lot of people. And if I don't know nothing about Indonesia, why I come here? I have to be ready. Maybe I'm gonna have some battle with you. And uh, it's mean read, read, be educated, not only men. It's very important to women be educated because they have big responsibility for all our kids. I couldn't agree with you more. In fact, Islam also teaches us tolerance. And Islam also teaches us, especially all the ladies, you should be at home nurturing the kids, taking care of the kids because the first school for every kid is a mother, right? Okay, so the point is not all of us are being submissive or being obedient with their mothers. What do you have to say for kids who still argue with the parents? Sometimes it's not easy, especially when you are on top of career and then your mother ask you to stop. Maybe some of us won't take that decision. Yeah. But what's your advice for people, for kids, for us, for teenagers, towards the relationship with the parents, especially mother? Like I said, like I said earlier, it's like it's very important to be educated. Like uh, for me, like Muslim, like uh, what I know about my religion. Second things after ibadah, what Allah told us, listen to your parents. Don't even say oof to them. Not only like argue or make them upset. And, uh, and this is this is very very important to have relationship and connection with your parents. This is second things after ibadah, what Allah told us. What we have to do, listen to your parents. And uh, this is what Allah said. Muhammad saw some what he said. He said, Father, it's not like everyone. You cannot treat your father like everybody you treat. Like your friends, your neighbor, your son, or your like, family, doesn't matter. 
It means when he talk about father, he talk about parents. Parents is not same people like other people. It's completely different. And, uh, and for me, it was most important thing in my life to treat my parents good. And uh, this is how I grew up. This is how I grew up. And my advice to young generation: uh, learn your religion, learn your religion, and you're gonna come back to your to your parents. Oke, okay, itu pesannya cukup kuat. Kita harus memahami apa pesan agama kita yang disampaikan kepada kita, terutama dalam urusin orang tua kita. Yeah, we know we have to know the message behind what our religion teaches us. Take care of the parents to be submissive or obedient to your parents. So, 